When it comes to measuring how round the electron is, physicists hate uncertainty. In a series of experiments over the last 30 years, they've established that if the shape of an electron has any distortion at all, the anomaly must be smaller than 1,000 trillion trillionths of a millimeter. Now, researchers have demonstrated a radical new way of shrinking the uncertainty even further. Though we usually think of the electron as a uniform sphere of negative charge, an EDM, or electric dipole moment, would mean that charge is distributed unevenly, forming one region fractionally more positive than the particle's average charge and another fractionally more negative. This asymmetry would have far-reaching implications, including implying a fundamental asymmetry between matter and antimatter that might explain why the universe contains far more matter today than it does antimatter even though equal amounts should have been made in the Big Bang. Because an EDM would cause an electron's spin axis to rotate when placed in an electric field, it should be detectable by sticking an electron between positive and negative electrodes. Researchers have probed beams of neutral atoms for signs that certain electrons are wobbling, evidence of an EDM. But the motion of the beam limits the measurement time. Now, instead of probing a beam of neutral particles, they can find molecular ions of hafnium fluoride in a rotating electric field, which causes the ions to trace out little circles, rather than speeding by in a beam. They found they could track electron spin wobble over the course of 0.7 seconds, around 1,000 times longer than previously possible, which should open the way to greater sensitivity. There are, however, drawbacks. Each ion's charge tends to disturb the spin of neighboring ions, which limits the number that can be measured together. As a result, researchers were not able to improve on the best existing measurement of the electron's sphericity. Last month, they started up a new version of the experiment with higher electric fields in order to trap more ions simultaneously, which, when combined with other nickel and dime improvements, could boost sensitivity by about a factor of 10 over the next couple of years. A tiny asymmetry would have far-reaching implications, because it would contradict the idea that all physical processes look the same, whether time runs forwards or backwards. While time reversal would flip an electron's magnetic spin, it would leave any EDM unchanged, inverting the relationship between the two properties. This breakdown in time reversal symmetry would in turn blow a hole in particle physicists' simplest model of particles and forces, and favor models in which nature contains many more fundamental particles than have been seen to date.